A phone call from 2020 between Chad Daybell and his wife, Lori Vallow Daybell, was played in court today. The call was made while Lori was in the Madison County Jail the day before law enforcement found her children, JJ, entirely buried on Chad's property. And our Morgan Romero was in the courtroom while jurors heard the recording. She's live outside the Ada County Courthouse. Morgan. A recording of that call made on June 8th, 2020 was played while Rexburg Police Detective Ray Hermosillo was back on the stand. He was the lead detective overseeing this case. In that call, Chad tells Lori he was texting with a Ray and Hermosillo testified that throughout his investigation, he learned Lori's brother Alex Cox was referred to as somebody named Ray Lamar. Alex was dead at that time, but Hermosillo told jurors Chad claimed he could talk to the dead. In the call, Chad and Lori say Ray is the, quote, contractor over their house renovation project and their, quote, blueprints are still intact. Chad tells Lori Ray is very optimistic and advises they stick with it. Hermosillo says Lori is asking Chad for assurances and Chad is the one who said he'd seen the plan. Here's a portion of that call, which was not played during Lori's trial last year. I don't know why it had to go down this road. To where we are now in the project. Mm hmm. I you know. I don't fully understand. I think he'd text you back or write you back. Ultimately, what I need from you is that the project is going to be finished and everything is going to be fine and it's going to work out. That's what he said. Well, I need you to tell me that every day, several times. Okay. <laughs> My sweet, lovely Lolo. <laughs> Things are going to work out, not just because he says so, but because I know so. It, it's a marvelous plan. Slight How do you know so? Up. How do I know? <laughs> it's been shown to me, honey. I've seen those beautiful eyes filled with tears as she sings to amazing groups of people and I've seen that wonderful body dance to heavenly songs. <laughs> In that call, Lori tells Chad they were told there was only a 3% chance there'd be trouble, but now there is 100% trouble. Chad assures Lori the plan was meant to have complications at some point. Before Hermosillo took the stand, FBI investigator Ricky Wright finished testifying about Alex Cox's cell phone location data. And currently, an investigator with the Idaho Attorney General's office is testifying about investigating specifically Tammy's death. I will bring you all the latest from inside the courtroom later on the news at four. Thank you so much, Morgan. And if you are now just catching up on this case, you can head on over to our website at ktvb.com.